what's going on guys welcome back to on the farm and off so it's been a few weeks my bad um, wearing these shades because uh, my dog got a hold of my other ones so today uh, I'm gonna start the wheat the water on my wheat uh, we got some clouds and we've just have been getting a lot of humid weather and rain crazy hailstorm I'll probably insert a few clips of that here but uh, yeah, if you follow my Instagram channel, then uh, you would have already seen that. I don't post a lot on the Instagram, but I, I should post more. I, I do sometimes, every now and then. But uh, where are we at right now? On the farm? Um, we're doing a little bit of everything. We got some uh, feed that we're cutting. Um, I'm waiting on mine because of the rain. We have full week of rain chances and I don't want to get it rained on so I'm gonna wait with that even though planting season is close um, I have planted 90 acres of cotton I am pre-watering one of my circles um, to plant and uh, that should be going in next week and uh, I'm gonna be back on the filming so I'll keep you guys updated and uh, today I sprayed some I sprayed, I sprayed some of my corners um, for weeds and uh, waited a couple of days and now I'm going to run the stock cutter on it and get that ready for planting and uh, that's so that should all be ready for planting either if we don't get a rain I'll plant it in the dry and uh, if we do get a rain I'll plant it in the wet dirt but yeah that's kind of where we're at right now um, waiting on the wheat to be cut my weed is ready to be cut been ready for a couple of days but uh, I'm gonna water it just to keep it nice and green and to keep the leaves alive a little more so let's go do that right, so here's the dry line I planted I planted this on April 30th 2019 and uh, I planted this in the wet dirt this is the land that I plowed here it looks really nice I kept a lot of these dirt clods so it won't blow very easy so let's check one of the seeds here and it's still pretty wet like uh, let's see see right there is wet dirt some seeds are a little bit in the dry dirt there's one seed right there this guy is just starting to grow so Let's see if we can find a better one. That row wasn't planted too great. I've seen some with stingers like this long already, so stingers are roots. Let's see this one here. Man, that's nice and wet there. Let's see if we can find one of these camera was off there I'm sure there's this there it is it's already growing it's got a stinger going down into the wet dirt so yeah I got 90 acres done I still have uh, yeah, how many acres okay I got 90 acres of dry land here and I'm gonna have 60 acres in irrigated ready and then I got 80 acre circle there and 120 acre circle there that'll be ready after I swat and bale it still using the beast she's been treating me really good look how clean that thing is for how much rain we've been getting keeping up with washing it as much as I can but yeah I got 90 acres of dryland in the dirt got 80 acres of dryland ready to go so gonna get that done as soon as I can so let's go skip let's go get the water started start up system number one power on ready to rock and roll power on on water on auto reverse on start and I am going to run it at half an inch 18% 40 in I'm gonna go 0.4 inches. So we're looking at 
put it on 30%. So yeah, this is what my wheat's looking like right now. Starting to get pretty tall. It's looking good. Could use some water. So that's what I'm giving it. Both systems are started up, and uh, this wheat is almost as tall as the tires. And tires are driving in a rut, probably about five inches. So probably three and a half foot wheat. It's looking really good, and uh, I'm excited to cut it. Wells are still pumping a little air. I had some young stuff that came up, so you'll see that young stuff in there. But overall, this stuff looks, I mean, it's going to be some great feed. I do have some of this rust. They call it rust. But I'm hoping that I can, uh, if I water it, I'm hoping it'll green up again. But I've been getting that for a couple of years. I'm not sure if it's a deficiency in fertilizer or something. But right now, it's looking pretty good. So that is where I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna end my day at 7.45 and uh, I did I did run the stock cutter yet. This tractor is very loud. I'm running at the 45.55. But uh, yeah, so been a pretty busy day. I uh, helped my brother set a planter on his field. I started his water uh, as well. Little things here and there, but we're in full force with planting season and busy season, so I'll probably try to post more videos out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.